Um, hi guys, this is Warp Daps, and today I'm going to be doing a really easy, quick tutorial. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be about how do you, um, open, uh, open up, um, a web address with a button in Xcode, and we're going to be using Interface Builder. Sorry. New project. I'm just gonna call this one. Safari Opener. There it is on the desktop. Um, and we're gonna go to classes. We're gonna go to view controller dot h, and you can put whatever you want here, like peanut butter. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have it the same in your M. So, um, IB action, um, just, I'm not gonna do like teeth or something random. Um, that sound means I just got an email. And, um, yeah, so, what should I call it? I'm gonna call it, um, open. Web. Web. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in my .m. I'm going to go to the app implementation. I'm going to enter two times. Yeah, two times. I'm going to um, paste it. I'm just going to... So, um, what we have to do here is... Um, the actual code and it's um, open bracket open bracket UI application shared application um, open URL open URL and then um, open bracket N S U R wait wait N S U R L. Hmm. Usually it highlights. Yeah. Open URL. N S U R L. So N S U R L space U R L with string. Um, and then it's um then you're gonna do an at symbol and then two quotation marks. Close bracket semicolon. Semicolon. And then um then if we build that should be fine. Hmm. Oh, sorry, there's two brackets. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that that's it. And then uh, this is where you want the website that it should go to. So f just for example, I'm going to put HTTP colon slash slash um, www dot a p p l e dot so apple dot com, and uh. That's going to be like the Apple homepage with the big iMac on it, like saying it's so great. So, but we haven't actually told it to respond to a button yet. So then we're going to go, we're going to build. We're going to go into our resources. And we're going to open up Safari, open a viewcontroller.xib. And um, I'm going to drag in a view just to make it look nicer. Now I'm going to drag in a button. It says, um, go. And now I'm just going to go to Files Owner. Yeah, I'm just going to go to Files Owner, click Open Web, drag it to here, select Touch Up Inside, and that's it. So, then save and Interface Builder quit. 
Then I'm going to build just one last time. I just like to do these things. Kind of habits. Um, and as you can see, it's opening it up. www.apple.com And it's the big iMac saying it's the ultimate all-in-one. Now with the ultimate display. Ultimate, ultimate. It's so cool. I want to buy one. Um, but... Yeah, and you can reload the page, and it's just normal Safari. You can go back, and you can add it and stuff, and um, it's just a really simple one line of code, and that's about it. And uh, then you can you can also what I discovered if you don't like this method, um, and you want your web app, you want your application to be a web application, is you can uh, delete this. Delete that if you like. Don't want it to look like that. If you don't want it to have a button or something, because I didn't want that for one of my apps that I was making. So um, you can just copy this whole line, then delete it, um, and then go down a few and just make it what it looks like before. And then you're gonna do um, go to um, um, implement view did load. So uh, super view did load, and then. In between these brackets, you're going to enter once and then paste that line. And that should be all that you need to do. So when it starts up, it's going to open that page. See? It's not the cleanest thing ever, but it works. So, um, yeah, that that's the way I know how to do it. There's probably another way how to do it, but that's how I would do it if I was wanting, wanting to do it.